today on 15 of 15. Solar Futura introduces a new concept called e Aruba Bike. Also in our lifestyle segment, an obsession with eating healthy foods may lead you to an unhealthy lifestyle. And the CEO of Ahata details on the predictions of 2015 of cruise ships. Hi and welcome to another edition of 15 on 15. I am Aisha Simon sitting in for Yentelu. Let's start this edition with e Bike. This is a new project that caught the attention of Prime Minister Mike Amon due to the fact that it fits perfectly in his vision for a more greener and sustainable Aruba. This project not only entertains the tourists and locals, but it also contributes to a more greener environment and the usage of green energy. A group named Solar Futura introduced recently to the Prime Minister of Aruba a new green concept called e Aruba Bike more modern and sustainable way to rent a bicycle on the island. The representatives of the company, Sergio Galleros, João de Jesus, and Raúl Mundaray Jr. organized a presentation that involved Prime Minister Mike Eman, where he had the opportunity to try the e Aruba bike that depends solely on solar energy. Tourists as well as locals can enjoy a ride on the e Aruba bike by using your own pedaling power or use the rechargeable motor that comes with a bicycle, or a combination of both. At different parts of the island, charging stations can be found powered by solar panels. The system also includes Wi-Fi services, a tourist guide, and a GPS that connects with the help of an app to the phone of the user. Prime Minister Mike Eman was very impressed with this green initiative and was pleased that the local community is also embracing what the government is doing to make the island of Faruba a much more sustainable one. Aruba is a great example to other Caribbean islands due to its consistency in exploring the green energy market. And moving on, the island has so many monuments and each one has a unique story. Today, we would like to focus on an important infrastructure that made way to new developments on the island. Today, we would like to tell you the history of the Bridge of Spans Lagoon. This private construction played a big role in the infrastructural and economical development of the island. Until today, the Spanse Lagoon Bridge plays an important role in the connection between Orangestad and San Nicolas. Back in the 1930s, the only way from Orangestad to San Nicolas was passing through Sabana Grande and Santa Cruz. But in those days, this road was considered too long for travelers. Since 1924, Lago Island Transport Company was established on the island in San Nicolas. There was a demand for a new asphalt road to San Nicolas to accommodate more cars that were coming into the island and that might cut the traveling time to half. This new road was then constructed on the south side of the island called Spans Lagoon. From that time until today, the bridge of Spans Lagoon is considered one of the most famous bridges on the island which was constructed in 1930. Sometimes it looks that this bridge is about to collapse, but in reality it was constructed in this form because of the dam so it had to be constructed accordingly for the traffic to flow. After a couple of years, another bridge was constructed in the area in July of 1970. Up until today, the bridge of Spansalgun is still in use, but it has gotten a complete renovation in 2011. Turning the page over to sports, beach tennis on Aruba is growing by the day and the first ranking tournament began with a huge turn up. Beach tennis is the fastest growing sport in the world and Aruba is not staying behind. The first ranking tournament for this year started last week. Many teams have registered to participate in the singles, doubles and double mix. The carnival season did not interfere with the participation at the event, seeing that the venue was filled with a lot of beach tennis enthusiasts. The final results of this ranking tournament will culminate at the end of this year with the king and queen of the beach. Depending on the result and how much points each participant accumulates will determine who wins the battle. Besides this ranking tournament, there is also the ITF ranking. Lots of Aruban players are already on this ranking list and most of them are training hard to maintain their position on the list while others are trying to climb the ladder and be amongst the top 10 players of the world. For more information on beach tennis, go to their website www.beachtennisaruba.com. Well, we are ready to take a quick break, but when we come back, we have some interesting stories in our lifestyle segment. Have a peek! 
Many foods these days can last longer than the day posted on the label. That is coming up. Shoppers see use buy and best buy on products at the grocery store. Sometimes those dates don't mean much and some families are throwing out thousands of dollars in good food each year. A recent study shows most food is still good and sometimes weeks after the best buy date. From milk to meat to salad and cereal, if it is in the grocery store, it's got a date on it. Some say use buy, others are marked sell buy and some just has a date. But what do they mean? Some experts say these dates are not expiration dates. Even so, many are confused by the dates. Actually, in some countries, the only food that requires labeling is baby formula. According to research, many foods can last longer than the dates shown on the package if it is stored properly. Like milk can last at least a week after the printed day. Eggs can still be good three to five weeks after you buy them and many canned products last up to five years. At least one organization admits that much have to be done still to improve the labeling and make it more understandable. Until then, consumers might to just use their common sense and open the product and smell it and judge it if it's still good or not. Doctors say that more and more people have an obsession with eating healthy. It's an eating disorder called orthorexia. People with this condition avoid food that contain artificial colors, flavors, and pesticides, as well as fat, sugar, and salt. Sometimes that can lead to a very unhealthy turn. Many people focus on eating healthy, but can too much of that become a problem? It's an eating disorder called atherexia nervosa. This new kind of eating disorder is an extreme of excessive preoccupation with eating only foods deemed pure. The big difference between orthorexia and other eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia is that it suffers focus on the quality of food and not the quantity. Take a walk down the aisle of a grocery store these days and it's hard to miss organic, farm-to-table, gluten-free. The push to make healthier food choices can be overwhelming and in some cases downright obsessive. Some people don't realize that too much of this obsession causes a lack of energy and vitamin deficiency, since one is avoiding all those natural nutrients that the body needs and that can only be found in natural grown foods. Now turning to another health craze these days, it's a phrase that has been dominating social media for the last couple of years. Strong is the new skinny. Does this new statement actually benefit us or has it just become a way of life? Every day, people are attacked by the media. Whether it is a television show, a billboard, or a picture in a magazine, the world seems to be screaming at everyone to look a certain way. The focus isn't primarily on women either. Men also feel obligated to look a certain way. Even while shopping, clothing seems to fit in strange ways and you rarely see a model that is not photoshopped or proportional. The idea of strong is a new skinny has been noticed on social networks and focuses on living a healthy lifestyle rather than looking a certain way. By focusing primarily on weight, eating disorders are more likely to spring up and depression can also become an issue. By eating clean, working out and simply enjoying the life you live, you will become a physically and mentally stronger individual and be able to push past the ads you come across daily. On the other hand, Women are the ones embracing this phrase more and more these days as more women are thinking of muscle. While men have been pushing iron for decades, many women are incorporating strength training into their workouts, focusing on toned bodies over thin ones. Gyms are noticing an increasing trend of women stepping away from the treadmills and ellipticals and into classes that emphasize building muscle over burning calories. Classes like aerobics and Zumba are giving way to kettlebell, crossfit and P90X. Fitness experts say strength training helps women's bodies recover faster, guards against osteoporosis, boosts immunity, and improves balance. It is important not to focus on the numbers on the scale and to work on how you feel inside. When you do that, you are less likely to fall into a dark hole where it is difficult to climb out of. Spread the idea of strong is the new skinny and express the importance of it. Well, we are taking a break now, but when we come back, we have this for you. Watch! 
frequent moves of cruise ships might cause a slight decrease of cruise ship calls to the island. In a recent meeting between Ahata and the Commission in Charge of Tourism on Aruba, various issues were discussed including the forecast on the amount of cruise ships that Aruba will receive in 2015. According to Jim Happel, the CEO of Ahata, the prediction says that there will be 24 calls less than last year, even though it is very premature to say. But this is not the final result. One of the things that happens is that you look at the schedules, and then the schedules are suggesting there will be a decline in the number of ships coming into Aruba this year compared to last. But schedules can change. Um, um, typ typically, uh, over the course of a year, you'll find that, that, that some ships come in that you didn't expect. Others may, may drop out, but, but basically the trend has been um, quite volatile over the past few years that uh, new markets, um, particularly uh, the cruise lines, have been looking at Australia and China and moving the ships over there. There's been a, there was for a certain time uh, very rapid increase in popularity of cruises in Europe, particularly in the Mediterranean. That may be not so much anymore and the ships are coming back to the Caribbean. So all the time there is movement. It, I always said it's, uh, it's a lot easier to market a cruise ship than it is a hotel because you can move the cruise ship. And, um, and, and these ships are moved very, very uh, frequently and, and can be moved quite quickly. What we've seen so far for 2015 is the schedule suggests there will be a decline. We're not sure exactly by how much, but th there will be something of a decline. I don't think it's going to be substantial because um, I think every effort's going to be made to bring in ships. Last year, Aruba felt the effects of the World Cup 2014. What are the expectations for 2015? Typically what happens is that for a number of countries, particularly in Europe, they just don't travel during that three-week three week period. and. Um, we don't have that this year, so um, that's an advantage. I, th I think, generally speaking, we just came back from an industry conference in San Juan where we met a lot of the tour operators, and they're generally quite optimistic about 2015, which is good. 15 on 15 airs weeknights at 7.15 p.m., so be sure to tune in for more island news and trendy lifestyle topics. See you then.